Hey guys, so I'm filming this over Christmas weekend because I had a little project come up and I figured why not take you guys along for the ride. So first thing we're going to talk about is where I'm at. This is what's called behind me the Alango Elementary School. Um, this is where I went to school from kindergarten through uh, fourth grade and what happened um, growing up this school used to be K through 12 and then over time the you know school district shrank there was less and less enrollment and basically it was K through fifth and then we'd go off to cook school which we're gonna go see in a minute but this is a place where I spent my early elementary days and where this whole project really started now in fourth grade they closed this school down and shipped us off to cook where we would have normally went after the end of fifth grade to go and um, you know start the last year of elementary school and then junior and senior high school so um, the important thing about this school though is that it's one of two schools in my history that are now closed and non-existent so the rest of this project we're gonna go see the cook school in a minute and talk a little bit about the point of this video as far as in regards to photography so let's hop in the car continue our drive up there and we'll go take a look at the cook school that used to be before it was consolidated and put into a new school called the Northwood school let's go All right guys, so this is the Cook School. This is where I spent most of my school years. Now, to explain why I'm here, let me just kind of jump back a little bit. Earlier this week, I had a question come in from a former student here who was a few years older than me, um, asking if I still had some photos that I had taken a couple years back, a couple summers ago, of this school. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, they had closed this school down after I had graduated a number of years after and consolidated the Cook School here with the Orr School and built a new one about part way between. And so this school sat empty for a number of years and was purchased by um, a local family that owns a resort on Lake Vermilion. And they are in the process of turning this around, hopefully into um, what they call the Redwater Complex. They're hoping to make it part community center, part possibly office space. You know, they've got a bunch of ideas. I'm not sure where that project is sitting right now, but back to the photos. What had happened is that uh, a couple summers ago, after the group had bought the school here, they started holding what they called the million dollar sale. And basically what it is, is a uh, big, garage sale flea market type of situation where people would come and they'd have tables set up all over in the buildings down here and through the part behind me which was the main entrance to the school gymnasium everything is right back here but they set it up and they use it as a fundraiser to raise funds for I believe it was the Lions Club so the Lions Club million dollar sale I came up for that not because I was too interested in the stuff that was for sale but I was interested to be able to walk around the school because I hadn't been there in at that point 17 18 years and so I wanted to see what it looked like now that it had been shut down and kind of take a little stroll down memory lane and I had just gotten into Fuji gear so of course I took my small Fuji X-T1 with me 
and took some pictures as I was wandering around. I took some of those pictures, put them up in a blog post, and they got shared around the community and, you know, former students, everything else, and a lot of people liked them, you know, and so I got contacted this week by someone who had seen them asking if I still had those photos. And of course I do, and I actually told them I do have a bunch more because through the process of that, the owners of this facility now had seen the photos I took, they loved them, they thanked me for taking them, and we struck up a conversation and I saw an opportunity so I jumped on it and uh, made a contact and made plans to come back and shoot inside uh, when the sale was done so I could walk around with no people around and just kind of photograph the area around here. Now you're going to hear one of the things about this area, this school that we would hear every day and that's the train that would come through town, which you're hearing right now. Okay, the train is gone. We can now hear what's going on again. So anyways, I had talked to the, the gentleman that asked me about the pictures and told him that, yeah, absolutely, I do still have some of these. And in fact, I have more that you've probably never seen because I had a chance to go shoot. So I was thinking about it because I had to pull them from the archive anyways, and I've got to go through some of these pictures, edit them because I never did anything with them. It came at a time of year where I got busy with things into the fall, high school senior sessions. Um, all of that kind of stuff and the photos just kind of got tucked away and forgotten about and during the recent episode of Shutter Time that I was on with Sid and Mac we talked about that with projects how sometimes these projects we we dive into them and then they get shelved for a while and we never do anything further with them now I don't really have any plans to do anything further as far as taking more pictures or anything like that it would be kind of cool to get in again and, and try some things now that you know I've grown a little bit, learned a little bit more, and I'm more comfortable with the Fuji gear, but um, nothing real urgent. I kind of feel like I did the whole shooting part of the project already, and now it's just a matter of what am I going to do with them, what do I feel like doing? Well, this gentleman is interested in them, so I'm going to go through in tomorrow's video, and we're going to sit down at my desk, and we're going to show through, look through some of those pictures, take a little walk down memory lane of the school, and... Um, dive in a little bit to some of the quick edits I'll do and things like that. Now the thing to keep in mind, when I shot the pictures here, um, I was shooting just the Fuji JPEGs at that point because I was still learning the system, it was just my snapshot camera. So the edits I'm going to do will be fairly limited because you, know, you can only push a JPEG file so far. But this is the first and what I'm going to come up with a name for um, as far as like an ongoing topic series on the YouTube channel here and it's going to be situations where I'm kind of on location um, taking you behind the scenes taking you along giving you a little history showing you the editing process behind it things like that um, thinking about giving it a name you know of some sort I haven't come up with anything solid yet um, I was kind of leaning towards something called the topic of being topic inner workings we'll see what happens on that but names not super important as much as it'll be in its own playlist so as I add to this over time um, you'll be able to look back at some of these little things like this where there's a theme or um, something more special like that and be able to see what's going on with it so um, anyways this is the cook school this is where I went to school this is what spurred this project and in tomorrow's video I want to dive in a little more and I'm going to show you a walk around like I said we'll take a look the school is in pretty rough shape in a lot of the rooms and so it was kind of like a little bit of urban exploring but the cool thing was is even though I spent all those years here at this school there were areas that I was able to get into and photograph because I had kind of free reign to go wherever and shoot whatever that I really didn't even know existed so it was kind of cool a few rooms up on this end and the old part of the building um, that were like teacher lounge areas and later used as kind of you know storage and uh, I think some special education classrooms that I just never saw and so there was some kind of cool stuff and got lucky because it was evening and got some kind of interesting light in a few of the rooms a lot of them were standard lights where I flipped the lights on in the in the classrooms and stuff themselves just to be able to see something but really cool project and so we'll dive into those tomorrow for now like I said, you're not going to see this until next week, but it is Christmas Eve, so I'm going to wrap this up, get home, spend time with family, and uh, get ready to uh, head over to my sister's this afternoon to spend Christmas Eve there with my parents and my sisters and, uh, of course, my wife and kids and everything else. So you guys take care. Have a very Merry Christmas. By the time you see this, Christmas will be done. So I hope Santa was kind to you guys. And uh, take care. We'll talk to you tomorrow.